question which I see quite a lot in the forums is the one about SAS. Questions like what is SAS? What is advanced SAS? How do you use it? And what is the best? So I made a very simple rocket. The ones you can see here are all the same. I attached a decoupler on the side to disturb the symmetry a little bit to let it flip after some time. And then I tested SAS. The purpose of SAS and Advanced SAS is basically to stabilize the rocket, but they work in different ways. While the rocket on the left flips over after some time, the rocket on the right stays straight up all the time. The rocket in the middle, with regular SAS, flips over shortly after the left one. But looking carefully, you can see that the left rocket rotated a little bit. The one with SAS didn't rotate and stays quite horizontal while the rocket on the left, with no controls at all, just tumbles widely. The main difference is that SAS works like a gyroscope. It applies a force to the rocket in case something, in this case the decoupler, pulls it. So it doesn't need any extra parts. The advanced SAS doesn't have a gyro, but it needs active controls. ASAS wants something to handle. Things like wings, RCS, a command pod and gimbaling engines, which are used in this case. So if you don't have any of these, advanced SAS doesn't work. Be also aware that wings are only useful in atmosphere, so mainly for planes or ascent stages. Wings apparently have a big effect on rockets while they are in the atmosphere. To see the influence of SAS and advanced SAS more clearly, here's the same rocket but without any wings. Now the effect of SAS is very good observable. You wouldn't let your rocket just let go. You would counter steer if it goes in a different direction. So regular SAS is at least a little bit help to keep the rocket straight. Choosing which one is the best mainly depends on the purpose. The best thing is to test both and use the one that seems to work the best. Maybe a combination would work too. Regular SAS doesn't care about gimbling engines or RCS. Here are two rockets, built the same. Both with SAS, but one with a gimbal rocket and one without gimbal. So both rockets flip over shortly after launch. The reason why one rocket spins a little bit faster than the other is because one engine has a little bit more thrust. Basic SAS didn't help in this case, and both might crash at the same time. Advanced SAS, on the other hand, needs active controls. The left rocket flips the same way as the rocket without any SAS, because it has nothing to work with. There are no active controls. No RCS, no gimbal, no wings, so it can't do anything. The other rocket still goes straight up. So make sure you give your advanced SAS something to work with. Maybe a gimbal rocket. Some might say, wait, you attach the decoupler on the top of the rocket place it on the bottom. You will have different results. Well, this makes a difference. Physics doesn't care in this case. And to prove it, here comes two rockets. One with a decoupler on the top, one on the bottom. They both do the same thing. This also works as a cross-eye 3D. Enjoy the rocket, I say goodbye, see you next time.